hey what's going on guys my name is Ace Wolf and welcome back to my brand new video in the channel and today's video I'll be talking about a problem that people keep asking me about so when they make their command block creation that doesn't work or maybe they had a farm and the crops never really grew because they're living too far away from it and the reason it happens is because time doesn't tick in those areas and why is that let me explain so before we understand about that you guys have to know about chunk first so what is chunk and how does chunks work so chunks are the method used by the world generator to divide maps into manageable pieces and in minecraft for every one chunk it is 16 by 16 blocks wide that extends from bedrock to sky in other words it's a 16 by 256 by 16 blocks chunk of the world and chunks also have their own area tick or most people know it as ticking area and for you guys who don't know what ticking area is so basically as you notice by the word itself ticking in the word of ticking area it refers to a clock as the clock also ticks which means time is running so ticking area means time is running in those certain areas in the map that we call chunks all right so this is how ticking area works area chunks will only tick inside of the player radius so if a chunk is reached by the player radius time inside of that chunk will move so it means lava and water will flow seeds can grow mobs can spawn and you name it everything works inside of it but everything outside of the player radius time will not work or in other words it's paused so yeah i hope you guys understand everything now for questions feel free to ask in the comment section all right so with that being said now for the most important question is how can we extend or add more area tick inside the game well it's really simple so there is this one command in the game that surprisingly still a lot of people don't know about but yeah this command is really helpful to do this kind of job because you can just write down the command at the coordinates or area radius that you want to execute then time will always stick in those areas doesn't matter if you're miles away from it it will always work so this is how you can do that first let's say you have farms over here and because you like to explore with that also you want to have your farms working in the background but you know exploration plus a working farm that's a no-go combination until you activate the area tick on it to do that you have to type this command which is slash ticking area then after you wrote that down lists of commands will appear to show what you can write down after and yeah i will be talking about all of them in today's video so for the first one it is the simple add command for this command you can add the coordinates area of the area that you want to execute for example you only want to have this small farm next to me ticking every single time for that you have to get the coordinates in every each corner of it so in the first corner it is blah 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 then now go to the other corner and you know what it is and now when you type the command slash ticking area add then the first coordinate then the second coordinate and now there will be the name string for this one you can name it to whatever you want but to make it easier for me to remember in the future which one is which i will just name it farm one now hit enter and bet your farm will always work even though you're miles away from it but remember it will only work within the coordinates because let's say that you extend the farm the part that is outside of the coordinates will not be ticking or you know it as paused oh and by the way the only thing that will not work inside of the added ticking area is mob spawning so if you have a mob farm and you thought that if you give an area tick on it your farm will still constantly working even though you're far away from it no i'm telling you it will not work with mob spawning oh and also you can only have 10 ticking areas activated all right so now you know that now for the second one it is a bit different since it is using a radius chunk so how it works is when you type slash ticking area add circle then the center coordinate then the number for the radius the maximum is four by the way then the name again you can call it to whatever you want as long as you're not using the same name as the previous after that hit enter so the way it works is that the number that you're using for the radius has something to do with the size of your ticking area by chunks so let's say you use one as the radius the radius will reach only one chunk from its center which means only one chunk will be activated just imagine it as a dot with a circle in a box so imagine you're the dot or in the command it's called the center coordinate then you or the center coordinate gets inside of the box and there will always be a circle in the middle of the box with a certain size when you're in it the size of the circle is controlled by the size of the radius that you're adding into the command 
The bigger it is, the more chunks will be reached by the circle, which means the more chunks will be activated. Wherever you add a center coordinate inside the chunk, the circle will always be in the middle of the chunk. So I hope that explanation is good enough for you guys to understand and if you're still confused, just feel free to ask in the comment section. Okay, so those are all the commands to add ticking areas but there are still also some other commands that we should dive in. For example, we have list. What it does is when you type slash ticking area list, it will tell you all the names of the ticking area that you have made in the current dimension. But if you want to see all the names of the ticking area that you might also make in the other dimensions, you can type slash ticking area list all dash dimensions. Alright, now to remove ticking areas. There are three different ways to do it. The first way is really simple and basic. So let's say I want to remove the ticking area in this farm that I have named farm one earlier because maybe I don't use that farm too often anymore or maybe because I have so many ticking areas activated that cause my game to be lagging. I don't know. So to remove, what you can do is by typing slash ticking area, remove then the name of the ticking area which is farm one, hit enter and that ticking area with the name farm one should be removed. And it is kind of the same for the other one. The only difference is you can remove the entire area tick using one coordinate. So if the area tick has any connection to the coordinate that you're adding, that one single group of area tick will be removed. Okay, for the last one, it is the remove all command. So you can type slash ticking area remove underscore all. And I'm sure you already know what this does by reading the command itself. So yeah, it removes all the area ticks in your world. Alright, so that's all about it guys. I hope you've learned something new about Minecraft today. If you did, please make sure to leave a like in this video and also subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. Have any question? Again, feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try my best to reply. And also maybe you can leave some suggestions for me to do next and I will pick the best suggestion from you guys to give a shout out in the next video. So yeah guys, that's all for today's video and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.